What's up everyone, TJ here. I was out riding at Woodward Copper all last week with Kevin for one of their summer sessions. If you're in the Colorado area, definitely check them out. They have a really cool summer operation going on. And they had one feature set up that I thought was pretty unique. It was actually a 40 foot down rail, maybe 45 feet. I heard a couple of those numbers getting thrown around, but the point is, is that it was really long and it was kind of scary to approach. So I thought as some of you guys might be kind of progressing to bigger rail features, I'd share some of the things that we're going through my mind on this guy for you and see if it might help you out and help you progress to those bigger features that you're working on. Woodward had a really fun setup going on for the week that we were there. They had ride on rails, they had boxes, they had ollie on down rails, kinked rails, and of course the 40 down. So pretty much anything that I wanted to work on they had out there but I was pretty stoked to get out there and scare myself a little bit and try to get a couple of tricks on this 40 foot down rail. So first off, as you start to approach these larger features that you might not be so comfortable with, you wanna start off with a trick that you have on lock, something that you're not thinking about the takeoff as you're approaching the feature. You can lock in consistently so that as you're hitting this new feature, all you're focused on is making it to the end of the rail. You're not thinking about those little nuances too much. Another thing as you start to hit larger features is speed is your friend. That might be the biggest thing. It's gonna help you lock into the feature and it's also gonna make you not have to balance quite as much. So uh, definitely approach the feature with a good amount of speed. And to that point, you also want to approach it just like a 50-50. Whether you're doing a board slide, a back lip, a 270 on, whatever the trick might be, you want the approach to be just like a 50-50. That's gonna give you the best chances to lock in clean and actually slide all the way to the end of the rail. And once you're on the feature, you've approached it like a 50-50, you've got plenty of speed, you wanna kinda keep your eyes looking towards the end of the feature. That way, any adjustments your body's kind of naturally making to stay balanced on the rail are gonna keep you going towards the end of the rail or the direction that you're looking, and give you the best chance to make it and not be sliding off either side early. I started off just trying board slides. I feel like on such a long feature, that's actually a little bit easier than 50-50s. You just have a little bit more room to balance with. And then the last day I started going for front side lip slides where you have to actually go up and over the rail, which was quite scary for me. It's one of my favorite tricks, but I've actually broken my ribs uh, clipping up on that trick before. So it was kind of scary for me to go front lip on this feature, but I'm really glad that I did. And as I was trying that trick, I was thinking about those same things that I just shared with you guys. So coming in on the approach just like a 50-50 coming in also with plenty of speed. Once I was locked in, I was just looking at the end of the rail. So any balancing or micro adjustments I was doing was helping me get to the end of the rail. And then I got a nice ollie out just to make sure that I was locked in even all the way at the end of that feature. Still had it locked in solid. So I hope these few tips help you guys out as you're starting to push yourself and approach those bigger features and to not be so intimidated. Keep having fun out there, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video soon.